Hello and welcome to another Budget and Leggett video. Now this is going to be another part to Cosworth Van Project. <coughs> it's all dying with the flu but anyway I'm a man so I crack on. As you can see I've got a couple of sumps in front of me. Now this is the sump that was originally with the engine and I didn't really look at it properly till a few weeks ago when I was thinking about putting the bottom end of the engine together then I realised, well hold on a second this isn't a Cosworth sump um, looks like a Capri sump or something along them lines uh, which, isn't, which will work but it's not going to really do what I want to do and as you can see, half of the baffle get the camera in there only half the baffle's on, the other half's been cut away it's been modified so it'll fit in the um, the oil pickup but I don't want any problems with oil with this engine I want no problems at all so I then went and I got a second hand Cosworth sump which you can see for a start it's aluminium which is what it's supposed to be not metal and in this we have a baffle now it's the standard baffle that's in it but I'm putting an upgraded racing baffle in which looks like this this is my racing baffle so we'll get into that in a bit more detail in a second now <clears throat> it's very mucky and messy inside so what we're going to do is we're going to clean this and put the new back so the first thing you want to make sure is obviously when you buy something second hand is make sure there's no cracks or anything in it this one does look good so we should be fine but what i did notice is i was just started to clean it and what i mean by clean it is just get the edge nice and clean with, a, with, a, with a, a blade basically nice and clean so I can put the new gasket on it I'm not going to have a problem but what I did notice on a couple of edges there was a little bit of a lip that you might even be able to see here hopefully the camera picked up you can see just a little bit of a chip that's in there and the best and easiest thing to do because it's alley just get a blade make sure it's nice and flat and just scrape it and you will cut away very very slowly you will cut away the bit that's leading now as you can see that's nice and flat don't be digging at it because if you'd be digging at it, you'll be making things worse just keep the blade nice and flat and you will eventually just get the little nipple or the little edge off make sure it's nice and flat all the way around as we can see again that might show up a lot better now There's a little bit of an edge on there that's all nice and clean so just go along with the blade make sure it's all nice and clean now I am I'm putting gaskets on this I'm not going to put sealer um, and there's, there's two special gaskets for the either end and there's other gaskets here now I'm putting gaskets in I'm not going to seal anything I'm a big believer if you don't have to seal things if there's a gasket there's a gasket there for a reason the other problem is if you use gasket sealer especially with the bolts that are coming up through here and they're going into a block where well, they've nowhere to go and you can hydraulic lock the bolt which can strip the threads and cause you no ends of problems so don't use sealer only use sealer where sealer is being used so what we're going to have to do first is as you can see there's all sorts of crap in here so we're going to have to get this nice and clean and the best easiest way to do it angle it up now i'm i'm going to clean this off camera but you're going to get the idea i've got brake cleaner just normal everyday brake cleaner which is fantastic and as you can see if i start spraying in here you'll see all the crap and the crud you'll see it running down and you can actually see the color of it there it's horrible <coughs> we'll get it absolutely looking sparkling clean with a bit of brake cleaner might need a little bit of a, like a brush or a toothbrush or something along them lines whatever you happen to have and um, get it nice and clean so once I've got it nice and clean I'll turn the camera back on and we'll go from there now before we completely clean I just want to talk the importance of a baffle now you don't necessarily need this is a, a full-on racing baffle you don't particularly maybe need to go as far as that but you do need some sort of baffle the best sump you can buy is a dry sump but they're extraordinarily expensive so a baffle in your sump is kind of the cheapest way of doing it and still getting really good performance out basically what a baffle does is the bottom part of your sump or the lowest part of your sump has an oil pickup and then that's driven by a pump just imagine like your heart and that pump has to pump oil all around the engine just like your heart pumps blood now if your heart stops pumping you're in trouble exactly the same as an engine if it stops pumping because there's no oil there and it's pumping up nothing well it's going to seize the engine 
exact same as your heart. So basically, if you imagine this is your um, oil and this is your sun, if I, if I hold my hand over the top of it, so that, imagine this is a baffled sun now, and as you drive you can see the, the water sloshing around, but it's still more or less staying in the same place, you know, it's still more or less there. Now this is not a great example, but you'll get the idea. So the, there'll always be oil at the pickle. If I was to do this with no baffle, as you can see, what will happen is the water just comes out. Now, so imagine if your oil pickup is here, and as you turn around the corner, all the oil goes to one side. There's no oil here where your oil pickup is. So for a few seconds, it's pumping no oil around your engine. Now a few seconds isn't a big deal, but every time you turn, that few seconds then becomes 30 seconds, becomes a minute, and then it goes bang. So even a, even a fraction of a second times that by a lot makes all the difference. And this is where a baffle comes into play. Now what I've actually done is, I was just about to clean this and I've had some, I got some old petrol, so I poured petrol in my sump and then I thought, well I'll show you this on camera to base so you can see how a baffle would work. Now as we can see, this is a standard baffle. So all it is really is just a metal plate with a hole in the middle and there's, there's four lips on the side of it. Now, if you imagine that this petrol here is actually oil. As you can see, as I slosh it from forward to backwards, you can see this lip is actually stopping all of the petrol from coming out. So it's just sloshing from side to side. So it basically means all the, all the petrol isn't coming on this part, which is making this free. Now imagine if we had no baffle there. All, right, all I've done is remo remove the four screws. And as you can see, it is just a very, very simple plate so basically there's a lip all the way around here. Now, if I do the same thing again, as you can see, the petrol is now coming on here. And I'm not even doing this as hard. Now if you imagine, you know, you've got a very fast car, you're cornering hard. Well this oil is going to be sloshing around a hell of a lot more violent than this. And this is where you have a problem. You, you will have oil there, but if that oil goes, like I said, even for half a second, but you times that half a second by 10, and before you know it, you, you know, you're in trouble. Now, that's the standard sump, the standard baffle, which is okay. I mean, it does do its job, but we're going for more of a foreman's baffle. As you can see, this one has long, deep sides. It has a smaller box, and it has these special flaps. Now what actually happens with these flaps is your oil pipe, or your oil pickup, sorry, goes down here. So, if you imagine it, so the oil pickup now is down, the oil pickup now is down here. Get some light on it. So the oil pickup now is down here. So for a start, we've got a smaller box, as you can see. A smaller box by about twice the size. So which means the smaller the box, the oil is tighter, it can't move as much. But not only that, these flaps, what they actually do is they stop the oil from going out but they let oil in so as the oil sloshes up against here this flap stops the oil from escaping because it lifts up like that but it allows oil to come in so that's how a baffle basically works and that's why they're really really good but we'll get into that in a little bit more detail i'm just going to clean this out properly and then we'll get to installing the new one right as we can see absolutely lovely and clean this is all nice and smooth so I know my new gasket will fit on there and there shouldn't be any problems or any leak. And it's looking a million times better. Kind of looks like it's dirty in there, but it's not. It's just the way the camera's picking it up. A thing that I think is vitally important, and this is with any car. What I suggest you do, one of the first things you do, is put a magnetic sump plug on it. Now these things obviously it's magnetic now what that means is any bits of shit well especially any metal filings or anything metal that gets either caught in your engine or gets your engine gets contaminated somehow it will stick to the sump nut and it will stop it from going up back through the engine through all the bearings and that's what does the damage and also it will stop damage occurring to the oil pump because the oil pump is very very important so they are only a few quid 
and I said the first thing you want to do is put a magnetic sump plug in your car. So that's what we're going to do next. It should be a 13 mil, which it is, and it was loose, so all the better. And this is what we've got to hope that there's no damage done to the threads, because obviously that could cause us problems. As we can see. It's just, well, it's not a magnetic, it's, it's, it's nothing. A bit of air, just blow. So there's nothing going through. And we'll put on our magnetic sump plug. Slightly bigger, doesn't matter. 14 mil. Now. Hopefully, well you might not be able to see, just might be able to see it poking through, but what it will do is a little bit of metal. Now obviously that is a slight exaggeration, you don't want to have a bolt in there, but you get the idea. It will actually stick, so no matter what I do, how bad I shake it, it will not move. You can catch it on your next oil, it, or, or, on your next oil change, and it can save you thousands so it's a really good cheap thing i think that was like five euros or six euros or something like that not expensive for what it can potentially save you now what we need to do is put our new baffled sump on now before you put this on make sure you've done all your cleaning first so if you just clean this but you still have to clean that well don't put the baffle sump in because all the bits of shit will get caught in there and this is your problem and a magnet will obviously not work with aluminium so you know just be careful so we basically discussed hopefully i've uh, explained it properly how a baffled sump works it's very very simple it holds the oil in a tighter drum so the oil can't, you always have oil um, on your pickup basically. So, and this is designed for this engine and all that you have to do is literally put it down just like that. I mean it really is as simple as that. And then you get these little Allen keys, four little Allen keys with little um, lock washers because you do not under any circumstances do you use Loctite on these? Because you will hydraulic lock them and you'll have to buy a new sump. Now, I'm hoping there's nothing else to this. There was supposed to be a fitting kit with this. It never came. I did email them and they never got back to me. So, it should just be a simple case of doing this. Now, have all four of them on but they're not tight now you might think well hold on the oil can't get in properly well it can there's these oil channels the oil will run behind here this is not a fully tight uh, fitting you don't put any sealer here if you put sealer here the oil can't get back and you will do damage obviously the oil run over the top of here the oil will get in believe me but as you can see from the hole we have here is just more or less that's the same well it's obviously this is slightly bigger than the pickup the pickup fits through there but as you can see the whole difference between the two is huge and you can see the way that worked that worked really good so you can imagine how good this is going to work now if you are thinking about putting your car on a track and you don't want to um, spend the money on a dry sump and you don't want to spend the money on an acro sump you can buy one of these but a dry sump is kind of the way to go but they are very expensive I don't know the exact price of these cars I think they're around four grand I think it all depends on the make you get I have one in the mark one which is brilliant they are I mean they are brilliant don't get me wrong right what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna tighten these bolts up and that's basically it that that really is as simple as that the next video we're going to do is actually putting this onto the bottom end of my engine with um, the oil pump and everything. I just, I'm just waiting for the gaskets now to come through. At least then I'll have the bottom end of my engine done. And yeah, that's it. So that is basically simple. Sump, baffle sump. Hopefully I've explained it. You want to know more information, just let me know down the bottom somewhere. Another thing I would say before I go is if you're going to be like me and not use this straight away, I'm going to put this in a bin liner 
and wrap it up so no bits of shit can get into it because there's no point cleaning all this, leaving it outside in your workshop or even in a car for it to get full of crap again. So I'm going to put this in a bin bag, wrap it all up and then when I come to use it, take it out of the bin bag and it's all going to be clean again. So look, hope it helps. Thumbs up and subscribe and don't forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one.